Welcome back. What a sunny day. Yeah, I know. It's actually driving me mad. But listen, I've got something here that'll interest you, okay? Um, I've been to a lot of schools, as you know. I've been to over 50 schools, and um, this has really impressed me. It's a daily journal, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's from Oasis Academy, and um, why I'm so impressed with it is because not only does it look the part, it really is the part. And there's a lot of things in that journal which, if your child goes to secondary school, you, you'll notice they'll get a bit of paper with a timetable, um, a few bits and pieces, and then it's off. But Globe, that's Oasis, rather, sorry, that's Oasis Academy, have really thought about this. I mean, not only do they give you a strap line, I mean, listen to this strap line. Social responsibility, reliance, inclusion, aspiration, really important, transformation and scholarship. It's blinding and they use it all the way throughout the book. And um, it's one of those things that you can really forget. Now, um, as you open the front cover, this cover here, I know it's got a bit of graffiti on, but um, it does belong to a young lady. And you know, youngsters like to fidget. Now, I, I'm just going to read this. Now, all young people, regardless of starting point, will climb the stairs of greatness at Oasis Academy South Bank through love, nurture, and rigorous, rigorous academic focus. Oasis Academy South Bank students will ultimately be successful and happily employed in a career with great prospects. Oh, they say good, but it's great prospects. Now, scholarship. We focus relentlessly on securing outstanding academic qualifications and developing the love of learning for all of our students, bar none. Transformation. We believe that everyone can change for the better and everyone has the power to change and influence others for the better. What a great, what a great storyline. It sounds absolutely wonderful. Aspiration. Now, aspiration is important because a lot of you don't aspire to much. Aspirations. We know if you aim high and believe, then you can become anything you want. And anyone can do that at any time. Inclusion. Now, inclusion, you, you usually think about the inclusion units, which seem to be getting filled up with kids. Uh, but that's about it. But anyway, enough said about that. Um, we believe we are one family. We never make anyone feel isolated or alone. Now, I've got to be honest, there's loads of school, schools that specialise in making you feel really isolated and making you feel really alone because they're, they're not following this type of thing. Resilience. We understand that greatness does not come without a huge amount of hard work and effort. And we know that we must never never give up social responsibility we care for our community and help others whenever we can I mean what a great thing it's really really nice to really look up this is what you're going to get when you get into year 7 and I really do think it's impressive but the more, the, the more impressive bit is coming up now they've got merits and demerits a lot of schools have the same behaviour watch type of system. But this one's decided to take, stick to the basics. And I'll tell you why it's better than most. Have a look at this. You won't believe it. I don't know if you can see it. All right? But it's got merits and demerits on the same page. So when you're a teacher and you're talking to your student about the work that he's done for the term, you can look back through the book. Not only that, better than that, the parent can look back through the book and spot any problems before they get out of hand. Now look at that. Absolutely, well, it's not fantastic, I've got to be honest, but it gives you an idea of how well your student or your child is performing. You, you'll be no doubts about it. And obviously they've got loads of pages for the merits and demerits because you're always getting merits and demerits. They've also got um, subjects and homework, homework details. So you can see what the subject is. 
you can see what the homework is. Now, I'm going to look in the back of the book just to see what else they got. Now, I know, as a fact, that it's excellent. Now, equipment list. We bang on about this all the time, especially in my school, but I've got it written down. Black or blue pen, standard. Green pen, for marking, standard. School scissors, standard. Glue, ruler, 30 centimetres. Fairly big ruler, but it was worth it. Rubber, sharpener, colouring pencils. Preferably having a green colour pencil in there would be useful. Um, highlighters, your basic calculator. I mean, don't get basic, get scientific. That works better. Um, mini dictionary, planner, protractor, compass, pencil. What more do you need? You don't need anything else. Now, it says, read this uniformist. Girls must wear black knee length pleated skirts, black full length pencil skirt, or black straight leg trousers. Leggings, <laughs> leggings and jeans will not be permitted. How many of you are still getting away with it now? you still got your leggings on, think you look sweet, but you don't. Now, boys are to wear plain black full-length trousers. All students must wear a plain white long or short sleeve shirt, buttoned to the top and worn with a school tie. School blazer must be worn at all times, unless given permission to take it off, but you have to have it in school. School tie must be worn at a professional level. Socks, plain black. Headscarves must be plain black or navy. What an absolutely brilliant... We ain't got that. Hair must be a natural colour. No blondes like we've got in our school. Or green hair. No, just a natural colour. Um, only school blazer or sports bag, bag must be used, which is, is standard but really good. Now, this is going to kick me. This is absolutely brilliant. Listen in. Now, Miss Tratt, she'd be dancing on top of her desk if I was to tell her what this is. The periodic table. Yeah, they've got it in here. Have a look. That's unbelievable. Now, I know Mr Young will be wetting himself as well about it, but it's really good, really well thought off. Maybe we can steal a few of these ideas from my school. Um, they've also got the, the, the symbol spread. Now, um, it begins oxygen. They've got about lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, copper, nickel, neon, helium. Need I go on? That is how good, it's, good it is. And they've got, not my strong point, common equations. Now, this is really good. Now, um, top tip for remembering equations. Um, you know, below is a quick effective method for remembering an equation that have three variables. Construct a triangle using the method shown below. This is excellent. You know you're going to get that. This is in year seven. Forget about year 11, year seven. Uh, mathematics, you know, most schools now will use um, my homework. It's got it here. It's got a login and a password. You just pull it in. They've got about independent learning, different units which is really important. Um, they've got about special numbers. They've also got area and volume formula, which you always need. They've got paragraphs. I don't know when you ever learn that. I mean, you learn it, but when do you ever use it, you don't. They've got about statistics and they've got compound measures. Um, it's all in there from year seven. So even if you're flicking through the book, you're gonna say, this is something that I need. Well, do you know what? Absolutely first class for Oasis Academy, South Bank, for putting something together, which no doubt you were only used for year seven, but you use it through the school. That's a well thought out book, well put together. Only problem, the spine. It's not gonna last long like that, is it? I mean, you've got to really take care of it, but if you do, I suppose you know something you'll be really proud of, you know? Really impressed with that. Um, keep the good work up and as you can see when your children roll out um, They're not such a nightmare. They look together. They look like they want to do something and most importantly They're in that school and they're learning at this current moment in time I know that the year 11s are doing exams, so they're taking it seriously and uh, we have to too. anyway um, That's it. Got any questions? Emails down there. 
Take care.